Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Brian again, back with another video uh, in this series called The Artist's Influence. And I'm calling these kind of career building, um, dance-based videos in this series The Artist's Influence because I believe that as dancers, we're all artists first. And, um, you know, we're here on Earth expressing ourselves artistically and the medium we've chosen uh, for the time being is dance. So these videos are really going to be um, with the purpose of giving you guys some tools and some knowledge and some some things that, you know, when you first enter the industry and you start a dance career, I feel like everyone that enters and everyone that starts a career from square one um, basically goes through a series of trials and errors. And you try things and you see if certain things work. Um, you seek out certain connections and certain opportunities and you kind of navigate your way through the industry as the years go by and if you're smart and you're you're lucky and you're talented um, you're able to build a career for yourself but there is a definite mindset that comes along with that and that will set you up in the best possible way um, to be successful so this video in particular is actually about success it's about uh, how to define success for you as a dancer and what really does success mean for you in the long run and what are you really looking for in your career? Where do you really want to go? Um, because you can't get anywhere unless you really know where it is you're trying to go. If you know what the goal is, if you know where your destination is, then you can navigate yourself there. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about success first uh, and then kind of how to to look at success and how to view success in the right way um, so that you can have a happy and healthy and long dance career and, and all the opportunities that you want for yourself. So I think first it's important to define you know what success is to you as a dancer. You know what success is such a broad term and it means so many different things to so many different people that I think a lot of times we get caught up in what another person's defini definition of success is and kind of taking that definition as our own. Even though deep down inside, that might not be your true definition of what success is for you and what it will take for you to feel successful. Um, so I'm going to start just by reading a quote. Uh, it's one of my favorite quotes about success and I think it really sums up what success is uh, in your life. and. Um, the fact that success is not a destination, it really is a, a state of mind and a state of being that you live in. Um, so the quote is by uh, Rolf uh, Waldo Emerson, and it's, it's a great, great quote. Um, the definition of success, to laugh much, to win the respect of intelligent persons and the affections of others, uh, to earn the approbation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to give oneself to leave the world a little better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To have played and laughed with enthusiasm and sung with exaltation. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. And I think that really sums up, you know, what success is at the core of it. Because we've all felt that feeling of succeeding and that feeling of, you know, setting a goal for yourself or setting a benchmark and meeting it. and. Um, I think it's in that feeling that success actually lives and it's not it's not the the accolades or how many artists you've danced for, how many music videos you've done um, over the year that truly makes you successful. I think we as humans have this amazing ability to give meaning to things that happen in our lives. Um, you know, just to give an example, I mean, uh, the same event could happen to two different people. Two different people could um, get into a terrible car accident, God forbid, you know, and end up paralyzed from the waist down. And obviously I'm using an example that's way more, um, way more charged than just, you know, your normal dance career, but it's for a point. So just follow me with this. Um, the two people, they get in the same accident, they, they go through the same treatment, and um, they both become paralyzed from the waist down. One person sees that event and gives the meaning to that event as the end of their life as a functioning human being and being able to do exactly what they want to do and they, they basically fall into a hole of um, feeling helpless and feeling that they don't have control over their life anymore. You can see how that kind of could take them down a very dark and, and 
not happy and not positive path and a path that won't really bring them uh, much of that feeling of success in the future. But then you can have another person that got in the exact same accident and has the exact same affliction now of being paralyzed and that person can become a best-selling author on getting through a tragedy and, and reinventing yourself and that person could go on to climbing Mount Everest on the back of someone or you know eventually becoming to uh, being able to use mechanical legs and, and running a marathon I mean there's there's countless stories of people who have been through trials and tribulations in their lives and come out the other side better for it and I think the key of that is that they've given a powerful meaning to what happened to them and that meaning is a meaning you choose even if it's on a subconscious level you're still choosing it so it's important to choose uh, what success means to you as a dancer and what what success is going to mean for me is going to be completely different than what success means for anyone else um, and it's so easy to get caught up in this industry of commercial dance where you're just focusing on what everyone else is doing and and the blessings and the, the opportunities that everyone else is getting when maybe for that particular time in your career things are a little bit slow and nothing's really panning out the way you're seeing it. But just remember that even in that moment, in that instance where things are slow and things aren't working out the way you've maybe foreseen them, um, there's an opportunity there. And there's always an opportunity in every situation for you to give it a different meaning and change the meaning it is for you. Um, so, coming back around to the original point of this video is just, you know, you want to define what success is for you as a dancer, first and foremost, and you want to do that early. And I'm not saying that as soon as you start your dance career, as soon as you start auditioning, you need to know exactly where you want to be in 10 years and exactly what goals you want to achieve and exactly the path you want to go down. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying for at least the next year or two years, you need to have some goals written down on paper and you need to be sure about what you're working for because if not you're just going to be blindly taking class and blindly auditioning for gigs which is fine but it's you're gonna find it's very easy for you to fall into the rut of focusing on what everyone else is doing because you don't have a clear path that you are committed to yourself you look at all the most quote unquote successful by the industry standards dancers dancers who have danced with the biggest stars in the world, um, dancers who have then gone on to transition into choreography and become some of now the most well-known choreographers and stuff. All those people have one thing in common that I believe, and I think it's that they, somewhere along the line, made a decision to be directed by the voice inside of them and not what everyone else is doing. Um, and they made the conscious choice to stop focusing on anything else outside of what they felt was right and what they felt was the path that they should be on. And that path can change. And that's the beautiful thing about this industry and, and the biggest thing that I can kind of impart to you guys with this video on you know defining success for yourself as a dancer is don't have such a rigid definition of what success is for you. It's not conducive to you over the long term, over 15 or 20 years of a career to be so rigidly focused on just dancing for this one artist on their world tour. Because if that doesn't happen, then by your definition of success, you're a failure. But by this definition of success, by uh, Emerson's definition of success, or countless other defi definitions of success as a continuum of experience in your life, you could be super successful. You could be impacting people around you in a positive way. Um, you could be having these opportunities that are outside of exactly just specifically what you want to do in terms of you know dancing for one particular artist on their tour. There's opportunities that could come your way that could be transforming and life-changing opportunities to you know work on some small show that ends up blowing up and becoming super successful or meeting this certain choreographer that comes into your life that just changes your life forever because you love their work so much and you love their thought process and the way they work. And you wouldn't even be open to those opportunities if you were so focused on, I have to dance for this person, I have to do this job, I have to have this opportunity, and if I don't, I won't be successful. And it's really, really damaging to your career over the long term to have that type of viewpoint. And unfortunately, I feel like it's a viewpoint that a lot of us just choose subconsciously without even realizing it. Um, and it's not a viewpoint that 
necessarily you're living every day, day to day, but it's a viewpoint that comes up a lot. I mean, it's a, it's a belief system that comes up a lot where we get so focused in this social media driven world on what everyone else is doing and, and, and the opportunities that everyone else are getting and we lose sight of the magic that's right in front of us and the opportunities that are right in front of us to better ourselves as artists and dancers and stuff. So my biggest advice to you guys for this video is clearly define what success means to you as a dancer right now. So after you're done watching this video, pull out a sheet of paper and write a couple paragraphs. What is success for you in your life, in your career? And not just in the area of dance, not just in the area of your professional career, whether you're focused on being a dancer, you're focused on being a choreographer or a singer or an actor or anything like that, but other areas of your life. What does it, feel, what does it mean to be successful emotionally in your life? Um, what emotions do you want to feel on a daily basis that will set you up to take the kinds of actions and take the kinds of risks that are going to be necessary for you to make your dreams come true? Um, what does it mean to be successful for you in the area of your relationships in your life? How, how do you want your relationships with your friends to be? Be conscious about that because if you're not conscious about that, your subconscious is just going to keep directing you and you know your life is going to keep giving you conditions based on on what you're thinking but you're not consciously focusing on that so people are still going to be coming into your life that might not be suiting you in the long term might not be healthy to have around you so really be conscious and really be sure about what is success for you in the area of your friends um, what success for you in the area of your health what does being successful mean to you as far as your body um, and I'm not saying that you guys have to have a, a a goal uh, or a plan put in place for the rest of your life in all of these areas, but at least have an idea of where you're headed in the next six months or a year. Because um, if not, you're just going to be walking around with, like a chicken with their head cuts off or with its head cut off, like I feel like a lot of newer dancers to the industry are before they kind of find their path and they find uh, their lane or they find find certain opportunities that make them feel validated as a professional. So you need to validate yourself first. And the way you do that is you define the successes for you. So on a piece of paper, guys should write down what is success for you and what is going to make you feel successful over the long term as a professional dancer. Because if you don't define that first, then all of the opportunities, all of the amazing events, all of the amazing uh, shows that you might end up getting a chance to do, they're going to feel a little bit empty to you because you're not truly connected to what success is and feeling successful as a person first. Um, so that's it. I kind of rambled a little long with this video, but um, I hope it helped out a little bit. I hope it gave you guys a little bit of an insight into how to kind of think about success as something other than just this job or, or this gig or this agency or this movie or I mean we we put those those values on things right we we say oh man like there's this opportunity and if, if I don't get that I'm not gonna feel successful but if I do get that everything in my life will work out and we make these ridiculous ultimatums with ourselves without even realizing it when truly to be happy it's a choice you make to be successful it's a choice you make success is is an experience it's a continuum so be sure about what success is to you um, and allow that definition to change. Don't be so rigid with it because you might find out that the path you're supposed to be on is not necessarily the path that you chose starting out. And that's not a bad thing. A lot of dancers start in the industry just as dancers trying to gig and trying to book jobs and stuff and they end up that, they end up figuring out that, okay, well maybe, maybe they don't really want to do the commercial side of things. Maybe they want to move into company work. Maybe they want to move into theater. Maybe they want to move into another area. But if they were so focused on just being a commercial dancer and getting those opportunities, they wouldn't have felt that intuition inside of themselves to move into those other areas to where they would be truly happy. And on the vice versa of that, some people start in theater or some people start um, you know, as teachers in studios for kids and, you know, they, they think that that's what they want to do for the rest of their life and then they realize five years into it that, man, I really want to perform, like I really want, I have this love to perform and they push it away and they push it down and then 15, 20 years goes by and they're still teaching at that same studio and they're still, 
you know, might be fulfilled in their life, but they'll always have that regret of not truly going for it because they didn't listen to that voice inside. So always listen to that voice. Always listen to what your gut tells you about what's right and wrong and what feels right because that's going to guide you in this industry more than anything because you guys know as well as I do, things just don't make sense sometimes in this industry. People get passed over for auditions all the time that are super talented and could be amazing for the job and you just never know what the factors are. You never know why you don't get a job. You never know why you do get a job over someone else because there's so many factors that go into it. So get out of your head so much. Stop overthinking things so much. Stop overthinking, am I making the right decisions? Am I making the right choices? And just let your gut guide you. And the best way you can let your gut guide you is by clearly defining what success is for you as a dancer and what it's gonna take for you to feel successful. Once you know that, and once you can fulfill that on a daily basis, then you're living success every day. And every single amazing thing that happens is just icing on the cake. And if you approach your career like that, Instead of having 10 years of struggling and grinding and then all of a sudden this one opportunity comes and now you're successful, you can be successful that for that entire 10 years and enjoy every moment that you're dancing because dance is a gift and it's not, it's not promised to us tomorrow. Anyone can wake up and get hit by a car or lose the ability to dance. So it's important to always cherish that and understand what success means to you. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for another one coming up really soon. Again, if you guys have any, any specific questions of any, any area of the industry revolving around agents to auditions to taking class um, to freestyling to uh, choreographing to putting yourself out there and branding yourself as a dancer or a brand, um, they're all topics that I'm going to be covering in some videos, and it's all things that, you know, will open up the dialogue between us as dancers and professionals and help us all take the next steps professionally in our careers in the best possible way. And that's really my goal with these videos, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.